types of forces. We have two types of forces, balanced and unbalanced. Let us understand them with an example. Let us say there is a table on which there is an object. There are two strings X and Y and they are pulling this object. X in right direction and Y in left direction. And X and Y are strings. See the effect of this. Now X is generating a force of F1 on the object whereas Y generates a force of F2 on the object. Now F1 and F2 are acting in opposite directions. In this scenario, if the F1 exerted by the string X on the object and F2 exerted by the string Y on the object are equal, then the body does not move. So, if F1 is equal to F2, then the object which is placed on the table does not move. If F1 is less than F2, then the object moves towards left. If F1 is greater than F2, then the object moves towards right because the F1 by X string is more effective, so it pulls the body towards the right. So in this case, we see that the object moves in the direction of the greater force. So we describe the balanced force as where the body does not move, where F1 is equal to F2. So when F1 is equal to F2, then it is called balanced force. It means the resultant force is zero. Therefore, F1 minus F2 is equal to 0, it means the resultant force is 0. If F1 is less than F2 or F1 greater than F2, then it's called unbalanced force. Means the resultant force F1 minus F2 is not equal to zero. It means the resultant force on the object is not zero. So we can define now the balanced force as if the resultant of all the forces acting on a body is zero, these forces are called balanced forces. For example, if the car is moving with an uniform velocity, then it is under the effect of balanced force. And unbalanced force, if the resultant of all the forces acting on a body is not zero, the forces are called unbalanced forces. For example, to accelerate the motion of an object, we have to exert unbalanced force. Once the unbalanced force is completely removed from this object, then the object will be in uniform velocity. Then it will go back to the balanced force. So the unbalanced force is very important in our daily life moving objects.